Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win <clears throat> or you find a way to lose. Check this out. So Andy Ruiz is supposed to be back this August uh, with Terrence Crawford on the Terrence Crawford undercard where Terrence Crawford is supposed to face Madrimov at 154. But check this out, right? Now, Andy Ruiz last fought I think in 2022, where he faced Luis Ortiz, the old Cuban Cadillac with 500,000 miles on it that keeps plugging along. But then Ruiz, like, mysteri mysteriously disappeared from the sport of boxing, right? And no one could understand it. Wasn't taking fights, turned down a Fury fight, turned down the Wilder fight, and it wasn't making sense to us. But I'm going to tell you what, what the hell was going on with Andy Ruiz. Personal problems. My boy is in a world of shit. Hopefully it all works out. But just to have issues from your personal life spill out to the public, kind of unfortunate. But hey, I think it's good that we talk about it because it helps, helps us understand why he disappeared from the sport, right? Because it, it, it didn't make sense. We're thinking he's greedy and stuff like that. Wanting 15 million, 20 million to fight Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. And when you look at it, uh, but what I'm about to show you, I think you have a better understanding of what was going on with uh, Andy Ruiz. Okay. So right here, the uh, permanent restraining order against Andy Ruiz reveals horrifying details of sexual and physical abuse, right? So obviously there's a permanent restraining order uh, that's in place. Now, when you get through this article, it, this is, uh, it's, it's, I'll go ahead and skim over it. A new report on the finalized and permanent restraining order Andy Ruiz's former love interest uh, filed against him reveals some craziness for the one-time heavyweight. This time last year, the mother of two of his children filed a restraining order against him. Now, the, I, I covered uh, the, some of this stuff years ago, but said that he was uh, had raped and abused her throughout the relationship that began in 2015. Now, we just got, I, I want to hear his side. He said it's not true, but to have the uh, final, have the restraining order finalized, I don't know much about restraining orders and how easy it is for someone to attain one, but it's a, it's finalized and it's permanent, so you'd have to think that there was, there had to be something there to, to what was alleged, right? It says the April filing in a San Diego court alleged that uh, the 34-year-old sexually, physically, and psychologically abused Julia Lemus as she was made to feel like she had to walk in eggshells around him. After a year of battling in court, this is what TMZ reported, the judge granted her a permanent restraining order this month against Ruiz. I'll tell you what, people, I don't, I don't think that, um, well, I'm not a law graduate, I don't know much about law, but what I'll tell you as a common sense man, for a judge to grant a permanent restraining order after years of the ongoing battles in courts, probably something there. Where there's smoke, there's some fire, right? But let, let, let's see. Lemus claimed that the things were fine over the first few years of the relationship, but things drastically soured. 2019, soon after he lost to AJ. She claims he would physically move her around by grabbing her arm and yanking her head to wherever he wanted her to go and would jokingly punch her in the arms and legs, leaving bruises. Yeah, he probably was going through some shit, if, as, if that's true, right? The final straw came in February of last year when she claimed he started to sexually force himself on her. He misaccused 35. 35 and 2 fired of raping her on six different occasions early last year. She was granted a temporary restraining order in 2023 
and he was ordered to stay 100 yards from her, and she was given custody of their children. God damn. Following the filing, Andy Reese put in a complaint of his own, claiming in Feb 2020, she stabbed him with a knife. He also said in April of that year, she entered my hotel room with a loaded gun in her hand and screamed, everybody get the F out of here. Both parties and witnesses testified in front of a judge in recent weeks, and ultimately the judge ruled in favor of his uh, ex, I would say lover or whatever, granting her a three-year restraining order that she will have the ability to renew upon request. Wow. Ruiz has not fought since the 22 decision over Luis Ortiz. Man. Now, do you have a better understanding of why Andy Ruiz hasn't been fighting? I'm sure his mind hasn't been there. And now that he's got this, uh, I'm not saying behind him, but kind of has a little bit of a, <clears throat> he has some room to operate now. Because he's like, okay, they made a decision. I can I can plan. Uh, I know what what I can and can't do. Um, whatever's going on with his kids, he knows. Uh, you know, he probably has some dates and t- he probably has some schedule that he has to work out. Can't he's no he can't be around the, the the female, but he's able to structure his routine accordingly to not get himself in any shit. And um, get back to business because I'm telling you, man, this is, uh, you hate to hear it. You know, as far as I'm concerned, let's wait and see what he has to say. Um, Sometimes in the courtrooms, man, you know, you just don't know what the hell's going on. But I'll tell you what, a lot of times it takes two to tango, man. But uh, you just would hope that shit like this isn't true. Raping females and all that, man. Uh, Punching on them and shit. Don't get me wrong, they got some women out there, man, that probably need somebody to put a little Ike Turner on their ass. What, woman? But this shit sounds crazy. Anyway, y'all keep cool. Andrew Ruiz is back. Sounds like he's working with the Saudis. Like he's going to get a little P, little couple, couple million dollars for the fight. Not sure who he's fighting yet. But uh, he has a lot of options. He's been out for a while, so I'm sure they'll find a, especially if Tur- this is a Turkey Alla Sheik card. He's going to put him in there with somebody. That's going to be a, a, a decent name and let them get busy. I hope they put Jared Anderson in there with Andy Ruiz. Boy, oh boy. Andy Ruiz can take his frustrations out on Jared Anderson, put the bing bings on him. And then we'll see if Jared Anderson really wants to be a professional boxer, if he wants to grow up and mature um, and go to the next level. Because Andy Ruiz, I don't care what no one says, he, he's not a pushover. Y'all keep cool, I'm in the breeze.